Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindi for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. This video is the sixth in an ongoing series about the cruelty and cowardice of Marcus Lemonis, host of the CNBC show The Prophet. You'll recall that Marcus Lemonis, through his companies Gander Outdoors and Gander RV, chose to sponsor a horrifically cruel slaughter of cage-raised pheasants in Minnesota in March 2019. Lamotus chose to sponsor this abuse after other corporate sponsors withdrew their support because of the cruelty we documented, and he continued the sponsorship after we publicly called him out. We've been looking into Marcus Lamotus ever since. In our last video, we showed how Marcus Lamotus is suckering weak-minded people with a flag at a North Carolina Camping World store which violated the local size ordinance. Lamonis has convinced the ignorant that the size of his flag demonstrates his patriotism, even though the supplier of the oversized flag admitted that flag is a marketing ploy. While Lamonis has been very outspoken about his supposed love for the American flag, he says absolutely nothing about his support for un-American animal abuse. Shark decided to put Marcus Lemona's supposed love of the American flag to the test. We had a banner made, which features the American flag, big and beautiful, and includes one simple statement that simply reads, Marcus Lemona's animal cruelty is un-American. A shark team took the banner to the headquarters of Camping World, which is located in Lincolnshire, Illinois. We quietly stood inside the second floor of the building, but outside the Camping World office with our American flag, which, if you choose to believe Marcus Lamona's stick, would have made him and his entire team teary-eyed with pride and joy. That's not what happened. After only about 20 minutes, we took our flag just outside the building so others could appreciate it. Much to our surprise, we found that Lamonis, or someone on his team, had actually called the police on us. Not one, but two police officers responded to the call. They went inside first and talked to the Camping World staff, and then they came out to us. The police were cordial and professional at all times, but they told us that the Camping World staff didn't want us there. Yeah, they didn't say you guys were right. in anybody's way or anything. It was just that you guys were unwanted. That's all. Okay. All right. Imagine that. Marcus Lamonis, supposed champion of the American flag, doesn't want that flag at his headquarters. Juxtapose this with this associated press report posted by ABC News on May 31, 2019, regarding the flag in North Carolina. Lamonis declared that he would go to jail before he'd take the banner down. Really? Take a look at the building where Camping World is headquartered in Lincolnshire. Do you see a flag? Yes, you do. Just one flag. Shark's flag. And the Lincolnshire police told us in no uncertain terms that Marcus Lamonis and his staff doesn't want that flag around. They're saying that our flying the American flag is something they don't want to have happen here. From what I've heard is that it's about the animal cruelty thing, but they're being... Well, he, he did that. He sponsored a, a very, very cruel event when they were beating animals against her, throwing them up and shooting them point blank range all that. I mean, that's just what the American flag. <laughs> it's the American flag. You should, I would think that Marcus Lamonis, because he's a big flag waver, you know, you know about that's that. That's the right? CEO. Right? Yeah. Are you talking about? Okay. Yeah, big, big incident down in North Carolina. They, he said they could, he could, they could jail him before he would take down this flag that was too big for their local ordinances. Okay. Marcus Lamonis is not just an animal abuse enabler. He's a hypocrite, a phony, and a coward. But wait, there's more. Do yourself a favor and Google Marcus Lamonis scams. Lamonis appears to have made his fortune by ripping off suckers, like people who believe that the flag size indicates patriotism. What is amazing and pretty concerning is that today there are so many morons lining themselves up to be taken in by an obvious third-rate con like Marcus Lamonis. To those folks, all I can say is, wake up. 
Stupid and gullible is no way to go through life. In closing, I'll ask, why does Marcus Lemonis still have a show on CNBC? Got ethics, CNBC? What's next? Ponzi or Us, starring Bernie Madoff? I'm Steve Hindy for showing animals respect and kindness. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals.